I mean, bishop c4, I should also calculate maybe knight d5, yeah? Bishop c4, knight d5, and if I take knight d5, queen comes to e5. Rook to f1 and rook to c8. Mm. Yeah, bishop c4, knight d5. I don't want to take e5. Okay, if I play bishop b3, though, he's gonna take f3. I don't want to trade that knight. Uh, but I cannot have them all, yeah? I need to give up at, at something to, to earn something, yeah? That's the rule of the life, they say. In order to gain something, you need to give up something. You cannot have all. What can I do here? If not bishop c4, there is no other way. But what I'm gonna do after knight d5? Knight d5, queen e5, uh, rook e4, rook c8, bishop b3. Maybe it's a like long game. Yeah, rook f1, rook c8. Bishop b3. Or maybe I will have some kind of knight d3 and e5, guys. Oh, that 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 might be the a problem for for black, yeah. If I play bishop c4, let's say um, knight d5, knight d5, queen e5. I play rook f1. Then I prepare and play at some point knight d3, force the queen out of e5, and then I push my pawn to e5. Oh man. Yeah, that looks that looks a uh, uh, possible try it's like a possible try okay i'm gonna play bishop c4 i you know no one can stop me from playing this move this looks so right mm. oh actually queen c5 i did not think about this move so if i play bishop b3 Oh, is he gonna play knight, knight, uh, knight a5? Oh, shoot. That's, that's a big problem. El problema. I, actually, I can still play bishop b3 probably. Uh, however, is he gonna play a5? a5 might, may be dangerous, guys. Oh, maybe, okay. If I play bishop b3, he cannot really play a5 because I have rook f1. A4, I can sacrifice on E6. Ah, there is this tactical idea. So he cannot do that. So Bishop B3, he should play Knight A5. And then... Then maybe uh, I can still play Rook F1. Now two Knights against uh, two Bishops. That will be an interesting uh, matchup. So Knight A5, I'm expecting this move. Yeah, he did play Knight A5. Now maybe I should be a little bit... Um, cautious and don't fall into any trap or maybe there is a tactical idea that i don't see so can i take e6 though bishop e6 knight e6 that looks very um yeah i don't i don't think that that works yeah knight take take queen f4 Uh, queen f4, knight c6, rook d5. Oh man, that, that looks very interesting, guys. Bishop b6, bishop takes, knight takes, king takes, and play queen f4. The next move is rook d5. So let's say rook c8, I play rook d5, queen c2, king a1, and now I have knight d4 threat, so he has to play king d7. Yeah, but the probably... The, Black is fine there. Black should be fine. So maybe I should just play rook f1. 
and yeah rook f1 then prepare some 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 kind of knight d3 check oh maybe it is it is a, it is a threat yeah if i play rook f1 next move maybe knight d4 is a threat uh, knight d3 e5 or oh maybe immediately e5 is a threat if i play rook f1 oh, what about now can i play e5 uh, e oh wait a minute guys maybe there is e5 so e5 if he takes b3 a b f takes e5 i can play knight d3 okay what what about adding rook f1 first rook h f1 that looks good to me Yeah, I think I should first bring the knight and rook. However, e5 also looks very tempting. e5, f takes e5, knight d3, queen d5. I mean, after I'm talking about after taking b3. Queen d5, uh, although there is no knight d5 idea. So yeah, rook, let's bring the rook. So I'm assuming that he's gonna take b3. That bishop is very strong. Yeah, bishop take. Although here I can also take CB. So maybe use C file at some point, but it is a long story, yeah. I don't think that it will be possible. So let's take A B. Bishop B5. Wow. Uh, he stops my knight d3 idea. Okay, if I play rook f2, what does he want? I mean, I, I cannot play knight d3 anymore. That's that's a bummer. Oh, although... It, okay, what, what happens after knight d4? Bishop f1, I can take e6 and f1. Ah, that, that position looks very, very good for me. So if he plays e5, I can play knight to e6. Which knight though? Knight to e6 and then maybe queen comes to g5. Oh, that's... that's uh, also, I, I might have a knight b5 there, yeah? Also. Hmm. Knight e4, bishop f1, knight e6, queen e5, rook f1. Yeah, that, that position I want to play. I mean, I don't care if it is engine or anything. I, I like, I like, as you guys know, I like exchange sacrifice. So let's, let's, let's calculate knight d4 and see if it works. Knight d4, okay, there is bishop d7, but if he plays bishop d7, we will calculate it again, yeah? There is no worries. Okay, knight. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna play, guys. I cannot stop myself from playing this move. Looks ah shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if it, he repeats. <laughs> let's put the engine in a bad spot. Oh shit! He does repeat. Is he gonna claim draw though if I continue? Let, let's try, let's try for fun. If he makes draw, I will play this position from here. I'm not gonna make draw, but for fun, let's try. Let's try to see. Yeah, it says claim three, three for the repetition. Nah, no, I don't want to claim. Oh man, okay. That, that's this tricky engine, huh, guys? He wants to make me to claim draw. Nah. 
I don't want draw, but how to continue the game? Okay, I, I also have knight d3. Maybe knight d3 is not a bad option, guys. Uh, I'm thinking now, knight d3, he has to take d3, I take with cd and maybe d4, e5, this kind of ideas I, I have, yeah? I think I should try that. Uh, okay, I will play knight d3. Okay, c takes d3. Now this pawn also can march to d5, create a weakness, you know, that's the... Also, at the moment I am having this knight g5 idea, yeah, that's why he ran with his king. So now it's time to create a weakness on the opponent side, so let's push the pawn, d4. Yeah, I want him his, his pawn to come forward from e6, yeah, I will play d5. If e5, then knight is coming to f5. That looks like a great uh, square for the knight. On the other hand, I do want to use this c file, guys. And maybe I don't want to spend the tempo on j knight, rook, uh, knight jump. So, But on the other hand, knight should be on f5. Knight doesn't do anything on f3. Uh, so the, the question is that... Is he on time to play a4, a5, uh, a5, rook c, okay, rook c1, a5, rook c4, a4, then maybe I have queen b4, yeah, or rook c1, also I have, yeah, maybe, maybe I should be, uh, no, what to do, actually, rook c1, rook c4, oh, that's tricky, guys, uh, maybe, maybe knight h4, there is perhaps, a5 move. Knight h4, there is a5, seems like. So maybe rook c1 using the c file is the way to go here. Rook c1. Yeah, maybe to put the rook on c4, that's the... Oh, rook c1, he, he cannot have this move, yeah? Or does he... I don't want his pawn on h4, so how my knight is gonna go to f5 then? Okay, rook c1, h4, maybe uh, rook c4, yeah? Then his pawn is weak there as well. So, that's, uh, that's one thing. h4, I can play even queen f2 at some point. Um... Yeah, I think rook c1 should be a valid option. Although I need to calculate rook c1, a5, rook c4, a4. I mean, at least I have queen b4 there and I have extra pawn. Or, or do I have 2, 4, 6, 3, 5? Yeah, I, I do have extra pawn there. Although, not the. Not the. I, 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 not. Maybe it is the ideal scenario. Okay, let's play rook c1. Oh, he does play. Man. Okay, rook c4. Okay. Queen b4. Rook b4. Okay, I think the key is here that I have knight h4 first, guys. That's the key move. I don't need to take b3 immediately. So let's play knight h4 first to have a control here before I take uh, b3. So rook g8, I was thinking that I can play g3 here. Uh, g3. Rook. Rook uh, g4, I can play uh, rook, oh, okay, he plays rook a7. So now, now also I have this idea, rook f5, 
Okay, rook f5 probably is gonna play rook g5, but that, that's fine to me. Okay, what happens? Rook f5, king d7, rook h5, rook a8, rook b3. That looks good to me. Okay, rook f5, maybe, oh, maybe rook g5. Also, also rook b3. Okay, rook f5, rook g5, rook b3, rook a4. I have to play rook e3, yeah, there. That doesn't, doesn't look good to me. So maybe it's time to bring knight to f5 and start bothering him. Or maybe rook e1, something like that. Rook e1, rook e3. Oh, or maybe rook f3, rook b3. Oh, this is, this is even nicer. Rook f3, rook b3, yeah? And then I will have some options there. Okay, let's go. Rook f3, take with this rook. Okay, rook b3. Only issue is that... Uh, oh, he, he tries to activate his bishop. Okay, knight comes to f5, probably. Or, or, or king activation. Okay, knight f5 looks like a logical move. Also rook b7, maybe trading one pair of rooks. Ah, will not hurt me. Rook b3, rook b7, take, take. Okay, maybe I should start with king c2 though. Rook b7, take, take, bishop, king c8. Rook b4, I can go, yeah, if I want. Yeah, I can go backwards. Also, I can probably play rook f3 here, guys. And the idea of rook f3, so he needs to come back with bishop. And what, what did he do? Nothing, yeah? He didn't accomplish anything. Okay. This is a nice position. Pleasant one, guys. Dream scenario. Oh! I, I was... I, I, for a moment I got excited about rook b8. So for now, I just want to see that what is he gonna do? Okay, rook comes here, um, but rook is not doing anything on g4, or does he do anything? So I can maybe play knight f5, yeah, knight f5. I mean, I can literally do anything here. What about king c2? I want to bring king to closer. Kings c2, rook, maybe check, rook b3, okay, king c2, um, king c2, what, what's happening after king c2, by the way? King c2, bishop a5, rook a4 I have, yeah. Okay, let's bring the king closer to the center. Let's play with all the pieces. Okay, he doesn't have any kind of strong plan. So there is this maybe rook entrance, but I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like there is anything there for for that rook. So maybe maybe I can now come back to b3 and bring the king to this king side or something.
The winning plan is probably trading the rooks. Oh, yeah, actually, that's that's the winning plan, but I don't know how to trade both rooks. Uh, maybe it's time to activate the knight. Yeah. But knight looks beautiful there. Doesn't do much though. I guess one step at a time, yeah? Let's put knight on f5. Mm, do I want to trade rook on a3 or... Yeah, I guess... Further pass pawn is better than on B2. Let's let's offer a trade. Let's trade one pair. Yeah, maybe this king can come to here and win the pawn. Yeah, king d3. Okay. Maybe I should have played king to b3. Ah, <laughs> the engine didn't repeat. <laughs> I think king should be somewhere on f3, guys, honestly. It should be somewhere to, on f3. Let's go backwards. Or maybe h3. So I want to put my king on h4. Let's see if, if engine lets me do that. King here. Also, how is he going to defend this pawn? I guess he doesn't want to defend. Oh, look at this tricky move. I guess I can play rook c4, rook b7, rook c6. Or maybe that doesn't work, yeah? Maybe, I can, I, what about b8? And then go backwards. Oh, that's that also looks very tempting. I think that's that's even better. Yeah, look b8. Oh, hold on for a moment. Yeah, it doesn't let me. So look b4. And maybe h4 is the is the way to go here guys h4 then this knight g7 idea is coming okay let's play h4 fix this pawn so he wants to attack the here so knight cannot go um king f2 defending g3 Three. Oh, king f3, there is no mate ideas. Oh, there might be a mate ideas, um, but maybe I'm just on time. Oh, king f3, bishop here, rook b7, 
e5, bishop e1. Okay, bishop e1 is not made, but bishop if bishop comes to b6 is made. But bishop b6, even a, even I can. Oh, I can, oh, hold on for a moment. Can I push g4 here? Or maybe I should start trying to push the pawn here. G4. Okay. Now I was thinking that maybe king go, goes to h3. Now there is no check. And now there is this threat and take this pawn. Okay. So also I can rook b7, rook a7 here to do. Rook b7, bishop c7, rook a7, king c8. And then I can even go to a6. Oh, but this pawn is weak, yeah? So I, I gotta be a little bit careful. So maybe I should start with knight g7 anyways. So knight g7, what's he doing? Yeah, let's go knight g7 and try to win the pawn. Okay, attacking the rook. Rook should go to c4. I need to defend these two pawns. I mean, a4, I don't really care, but this pawn is very important. Oh. This is an interesting try by our, by our friend. Oh, shoot. That's a tricky try. Hmm. When you think is that it is almost over, it comes up with uh, some idea. Freaking hell. What if I play rook c6 here though? He's gonna play bishop b4, and then I can play rook c7. So rook c6, if he takes a4, I even have rook a6. Oh, so he cannot really take. And if he doesn't take, if he plays bishop b4, I have rook c7, then I am able to take the pawn. So rook c6, what, what's he gonna do? Okay, let's go to c6, guys. Ah, uh, I am targeting this pawn. This one. Okay. Knight goes back. F5. And D6 is undefendable. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this move I saw, but I didn't think that it defends this pawn. Okay, Rook C7. Now I can play Rook C7. King goes to E7 a8 or somewhere and then maybe i can go this way now oh man that's that's oh actually knight g7 oh there is knight g7 now stronger rook c7 king f8 let's say i play knight g7 yeah knight g7 there are some checks and okay let's check first King cannot go here because of mate. So king goes up there. Whew. Now what happens if I play knight g7? Uh, yeah, I, I, oh. What? No, he, he, does he want really that? No, he, he, I, I was, ah, oh, for a moment I thought, oh, I, I, maybe he wants to play king h7, yeah, knight g7, king h7. Mm. Okay, rook g7. King f8, rook h7, rook e2. A rook e2, maybe I can play a5. Rook e4, a6. Oh, that, that's, that's a winning. So, I can give a check on g7 now. Instead of that, rook g7. And if king goes to h8, I can play rook g6. So, there is this idea and this idea. 
So that should be winning, yeah? That should be winning. It's hard to believe that it's not. Okay, let's go rook g7. Yeah, this kind of wins everything, yeah? Rook g6. Okay, let's do it. Now f6, I'm, I'm planning to take. First, um, rook f6. Maybe I, I can. Maybe I shouldn't rush to take. Yeah. Oh, that's that's also. Oh, no, nah, King G. Oh, I can do that. King G two. I was afraid that Bishop C five. Oh, there is a Bishop C five. Never mind. So there is this Rook F six. Bishop C five. Knight D six. King g7, knight d8, yeah, there is knight d8, important move. King g8, maybe d6 there, or something like that. Rook e4, there is d7, yeah. So let's take this. Oh, king g8, freaking hell. This wasn't, this wasn't planned, guys. Uh, so now knight d6 is not as effective because because of what we can take d6 rook d6 rook here rook h6 and h5 is hanging actually at the end of the variation but maybe maybe i'm not really interested in that so maybe it is time to play king oh king g2 that's that's not that's not what I wanted, but maybe I have to. So let's let's try to understand this idea. Knight d6. Now knight d6. This rook end games always somehow draw. Yeah? Okay, maybe maybe it's time to play g4, guys. Uh, g4. Then he's gonna check me and force me to come to e2. Then take here. That doesn't sound right. I can give a check on g6. King comes here and then play rook h6. Keeping maybe some options open, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, what if I play king g2 here? Bishop c5, king f3, rook a2, and once checkmate. And if I play g4, then starts checking. Freaking hell. Oh, this was move was a strong one. So I need to figure out if knight d6 is possible or not. Knight d6, um, bishop d6, rook d6. And there is this king g7 move also quite interesting. Basically stops rook h6 idea. I think I need to take h5, there is no other way to play for a win. So rook h5, h6, bishop c5, rook h5, rook e4, and then maybe rook h6 there or something, or start pushing the pawn somehow. 
uh, h6. Oops. Uh, yeah, let me take h5. Yeah, bishop c5. I'm gonna take this, obviously. So maybe I should immediately start g4, g5, push, perhaps. Or maybe rook h6 first. Rook h6 also kind of threatening knight d6, yeah, there. And not kind of, it is a threat. Rook h6, uh, yeah, rook, let's say e1, then I take d6. Rook d1, even I have knight d4. So let's play rook h6, attacking the d6. So if I can trade a knight and have two pawns, probably that's winning, yeah. Knight d6 now, should be a win, knight d6. Yeah, this end game should be winning, if, if obviously this pawn doesn't march. Too far. Oh, I thought there was a knight e4 and he cannot take the pawn. Knight e4. Where does the bishop go after knight e4? Okay, knight e4 is strong enough. Yeah, no, no, maybe king. Okay. Oh. Oh. I I was thinking that there is knight f6, but knight f6 doesn't work, guys. Wow. Although I can maybe bring the king here. Although maybe it does work. Knight f6. That's tr tricky, very tricky, guys. Um, so I can play king g4 here, probably. King g4, let's say bishop goes somewhere, and then I play rook, e rook g6 check, king f5, then that looks very appealing to me. Yeah, let's, let's activate the king. King Marcher. <laughs> yeah, let's put King on F5. Okay, uh, so rookie six is kind of winning E5 pawn. And I assume two pawns should be enough for a win, yeah? Two pawns, knight against bishop. Okay, if it... Oh, maybe, wait a minute. Rook e6. Oh, maybe what he wants is that rook e6, king here. If I take, takes, king takes, king g6. And I play king f4, he plays king h5. And how am I gonna defend h4, yeah? That this engine is always tricky, guys. I gotta be very careful. So I also can play maybe rook somewhere, a6 maybe, a6, and then start pushing the pawns. That's also possible. But probably that's the best way to do here. Yeah. He cannot really sacrifice on h4 for now. So let's go to a6. I think I should play h5 as soon as possible, so there will not be any any kind of sacrifice ideas. So he plays bishop d6. Maybe it's time to push the pawn a little bit forward. h5 g4 yeah let's go i don't need to rush to take this pawn actually 
This pawn is a bit helping me. So now maybe I can check first and force king to go somewhere and then play g4. So at some point maybe that will be helpful. So let's give a check first. King was here. So what if I check here, knight d6 check. King was to e7, rook e6, king d7, yeah. That, did I gain anything? Nah, not really. So if g, I wanted to play g4, but it's, uh, oh, I can play actually. And I will play. If it checks, I take e5. Yeah, let's take e5. Bishop c7, I can go to d5. No, he, he pins the knight. That's an even trickier move, yeah? So, because otherwise I was gonna give a check here. So... Maybe king f4, king f3, yeah? That's, that's the way to go. Yeah, I need to get rid of this kind of um, pin first. And then maybe I will even check and put f5, knight on f5. Yeah, knight should be in a better spot. Yeah, king e3, oh, king e3 maybe is better. Okay, g3 maybe. Where to put the king? G3 or E3? E3 is a good side that he doesn't have bishop B6 check. And I, I don't think that rook is cutting me really. So let me put king on E3. Knight, yeah, okay. Um, knight D6 check. Maybe I can play king f3. Okay, let's play king f3. I don't need to rush. So, if king rook goes somewhere, maybe I can kick his rook if, if necessary. So he plays this move. Oh, he wants to bring the bishop to c3 and cover uh, this diagonal. So I cannot just push h6, h7. However, I'm gonna play king g2 now. He cannot play rook h4. He has to move rook somewhere here. Yeah, e1. Now I thought I can play knight g5, h6, bishop c3, h7, bishop g7, and then there is knight d6 check. So let's see how he's gonna defend from that idea. Oh, he goes e7. So. Can I play now h6, h7, guys? h6, h7. Still, he, he wants to put in the knight behind, yeah? And, uh, maybe it doesn't work. Okay, h6. Um, bishop c3, h7. Rook e2 check. King f3. Rook h2, let's say. Then I play, so let's say, rook g8. And then march with my king towards that direction i think i can do that it it doesn't i don't believe that he can stop me from doing that yeah let's go it's time to push push the baby Okay, let's put the pawn on h7, yeah. What's the def defense mechanism he's thinking of? Rook g8, 
rook e2 check, king h3 even I can play, oh, king h3, rook e1, I mean, I can go h4, okay, anyway, I need to go to g8, now I'm threatening h8, queen, okay, he checks, actually, my winning plan was maybe to go here, and, uh, uh, g6 to g6 and then something but now I am thinking that can I play king h3 bishop e5 I have knight f3 uh, so king h3 he has to check I go to h4 and then what's happening what's up why is it gonna stop me okay King h3, rook e1, the only way, then I play king h4. If, oh, then maybe he has this idea, bishop f6. And then I can go to king h5, rook here, king g6. Yeah, there is this idea. Okay, let's go, king h3. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, king h4, bishop f6, king h5, rook h1, ah, okay, for a moment I thought that he had bishop g5 idea, but maybe he has rook g1 idea there, yeah, rook g1, I cannot queen because g4 is hanging, so if I play knight e4 there, knight uh, e4, rook g4 check, king f5, Rook h4, knight f6 there is, yeah, so, yeah, I think, I think so, I think king h4 is the winning plan, guys, king h4, bishop f6, king h5, um, yeah, rook h1, king g6, if bishop moves somewhere, I can play knight f7, <laughs> okay, so don't rush, Basil. don't rush, That's the key, guys. In, in a winning position, the main difficulty is like uh, to stop yourself and try to see if there is any counter chance. It is easy to fail when it comes to that. Oh, okay. Oh. GG. Okay, guys, I'm winning this easily. Come on. Oh, man, this was a tough one. Tough one, but it is always uh, feeling good, guys. When you win the game, it is always feeling good. But obviously, I shouldn't be like uh, rushing. To, to celebrate it but the position is completely winning uh let me let me finish the game so it is the my first victory huh guys in, in the stream now i am reading the chat um uh, okay so this is a, an easy win just i need to push the pawn 
neither for check g5 thank you guys I appreciate it although it is always tricky we gotta <laughs> yeah 2000 uh, followers and uh, yeah winning that's good guys okay let's move the maybe g6 yeah, let's push the pawn Okay, king L, yeah, king maybe, I will need to have the king. Okay, maybe rook E5, yeah, rook E2, rook G2. Okay, I, I win, but I, I had the, although the position wasn't that clear, yeah, guys? The one um, that um, I started. I mean, it wasn't easy to understand that that position was winning, so... Therefore, I'm kind of happy with the result. Rook d8. I don't need this knight, so let's mate with the rook and king. Ah, oh, shoot, I thought that he was gonna play king c6. I was trying to win with pre move, so it is a good exercise uh, for for bullet. It is too late for thinking. Oh, guys, look at this! I mean, okay. Uh, uh, most part was uh, just mate, but I mean winning already, but it was like almost 80 moves, you know, you, I needed to convert the advantage. That was a, uh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one, but I managed, so I'm happy with the result. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see what, what was the, the 